Hey guys, how's it going? Um, my look is really shimmery, really sparkly um, on the eyes, so it's uh, lighter everywhere else, like nude lip, uh, not a lot of like things going on with my cheeks or anything like that. Like I try to keep the sparkle and the drama more here, um, just because, I don't know, when you have too much sparkle, you can tell. Like, <laughs> you look like a disco ball and um, that is not appealing, unless it's, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know when that's appealing. Anyway, so um, came up with this look because my friend Jen requested more copper and gold kind of looks and I, God knows I have copper and gold, but I hardly ever use just gold or just copper, like I like to throw other colors in there as well. So I really like the way that copper sparkle pigment looks with uh, Blue Storm pigment and Goddess eyeshadow from Urban Decay. Uh, just like blues and coppers look really awesome usually. Um, so yeah, I like the way this one turned out, so I decided I'd make it into a tutorial. Um, and that's it. Here it is. Top of your Too Faced shadow insurance, you want to use um, a cream eyeshadow base that's like a kind of copper color. I'm using Cedar Rose from MAC, Cedar Rose Shade Stick, uh, but there's also, I think they have Penny Shade Stick, I think that would work too. Um, or you can like draw all over your eye with an, like a coppery eyeliner. Um, you basically just want anything that's like coppery and shimmery because you're going to be putting <clears throat> copper sparkle pigment over top of it and the more copper and more sparkle the better because it will just make your pigment really really pop. Once that's done, I'm going to take my 239 brush and get copper sparkle all over my fingers um, and just kind of lightly pat it on. <clears throat> copper sparkle is, yes I know, not eye safe. Um, it's really really sparkly and there's like usually lots of fallout with it so I find that it just minimizes the mess if you're a little careful with it when you're putting it on like just kind of instead of like totally windshield wipering it just kind of pat it right on. Um, just all over lid, inner corner to, uh, I guess about, about here, somewhere. Uh, not your whole lid, because you're going to put uh, eyeshadow here, but still. Okay. It should basically look like that. Once you're done there, you take a little bit of Blue Storm pigment from MAC with your 213 brush and just kind of pat it on the outer corner there, just like that. Uh, blue Storm is like a navy blue. Um, it's a really awesome color. I usually use it with, uh, well I pretty much use it with anything. Um, navy blue is always awesome. Got my pencil brush here, my 213 brush? No. 210, whatever. Just like skinny little pencil brush. Get some goddess eyeshadow on it and just drag it right into the crease like that. So that you basically have like a harsh blue sparkly line. A little bit more goddess onto the brush. And just covering up outer corner there and blending the crease. Thing that looks like that. Next I'm going to take uh, melon pigment and use that as my brow highlight and also to blend down the goddess. <coughs> melon is uh, like a an orangey bronzy color. I'm using it because on me it comes out like a goldy coppery um, and pretty subtle. So <clears throat> if you have fair skin you might want to use something different, like something that's more, a little bit lighter. But just any, <clears throat> anything that comes out sparkly, coppery, goldy. You should have something that looks like that once it's blended. Oops. Okay, next. Oh. 
Uh, you want to take Teddy Eye Cool from MAC. This is a brown, um, like a deep brown eyeliner with a uh, reddish coppery shimmer. The eyeliner I'm using is MAC's glitter eyeliner that came out a few years ago. This one's called Glamour Gold. But you can get gold glitter eyeliner at like any Sephora. Um, I think Urban Decay has a couple of them. Too Faced makes glitter eyeliner as well. And I like the Too Faced ones because they have a lot of pigment. Like they, they come out looking like they do in the tube. Max glitter eyeliner I've noticed is always, unless you get the, uh, the pencil glitter eyeliner, which in that case it's not as glittery. Um, Max glitter eyeliner, you always need something underneath it to make it actually, to make the color of it actually show up. Otherwise it just looks like random sparkle over your eye. Okay, so I put on my concealer and my foundation and everything. Um, now I'm going to take Forever Green MAC eyeliner and just use that on my lower lid. Whoops, sorry. And once you've got that, um, you just want to add MAC Forest Green pigment with a little skinny brush just over top. And then you can just take a little bit of um, whatever your brow highlight was. I'm using Melon again. And just do that in the inner corner. And then you just do your eyebrows. You can use whatever blush you want. Today I'm going to use Sun Mask again just because it's like a nice bronze on me and I think that it'll pull everything together nicely. Okay, so blush on and of course hair done. Um, lipstick wise, I'm going to use something that's very, very nude because this whole look is like really sparkly and really strong. So I'm going to use Touch Lipstick and not a lot of it. my Bourjois La Creme lip gloss, uh, which is not shimmery. It's like the one lip gloss I have that's not shimmery because I really, really, really like shimmer. I'm going to try that. Because, I don't know, I was going to use like a copper lip gloss, but the copper ones I have are very sparkly and I don't, you don't want to over sparkle. Like, <laughs> that's too much sparkle. Uh, if you have a sparkly eye, you should have like a relatively matte lip. Complete your look. It is pretty, I wouldn't say it's over the top, but I would say it's um, like suitable for performance uh, and pretty easy to do. Um, it was basically the other belly dance look. It's just with different colors um, and I guess with like glitter eyeliner added. Um, but the important thing with glitter is that you want to keep it in one area. So notice that I didn't have like glittery blush and glittery foundation, glittery lips. Like basically just all the glitter just stays around my eye. Because uh, you like you just don't want to be that person that has like glitter all over their face So yeah <laughs> um, That is it. I hope that's helpful and um, talk to you guys soon. Thanks